Hmm, can't wait to post this. Hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's just a typical day at home, but today I'm going to be teaching you something which you might find quite useful. So, you may have the perfect Instagram banner, but when you go to post it, it turns out that Instagram crops your portrait photo and you can't fit your subject in. Well, there are a few ways in which you can fix this Instagram crop issue using Photoshop. These five ways are 1. Widening your photo 2. Content aware fill 3. You're shooting a panorama. Four, moving the sky part of a photo. Five, stretching out the sides of a photo. All right, so first of all, jump into Photoshop. Now load your photo into Photoshop and press C to open up the crop tool. Change the crop ratio to four to five. That's the Instagram ratio. Now hold out on your keyboard and move open like that. And then Control T onto this layer, so it make the photo wider, and there you go. When shooting with a wide angle lens sideways, it looks usually quite uh, thin. So, if when you widen the photo, it doesn't really look. It looks more natural. Now, go to File, Export, Export as, and here you go. You can do your settings here, and you're done. That's it. The second way of doing this is using uh, the Content Aware Fill. So go here, do the same thing. Now out and to copy the layer, press M to change the marquee tool, select it, the sides, right click, fill, content away fill, wait for it to load. And there we go. Don't worry about that, we'll fix that with the clone stamp tool in a second. Now, go to the next one, to the other side. Fill, content away, fill again. Wait for it. And here we go, deselect. Now, out and scroll to zoom in. Press S for the stamp tool. Try to align it like this, and then something like that and you should be good there you go now you can see how much wider the photo is so you can fit it into the crop tool to the instagram crop I mean. there you go you can also do control shift out and w to export like that all right so the third way is say you have a beautiful photo like this of this event door as i shot a while back with jonathan but you can see that the sky will crop out, so what you're going to do is you're going to use the M tool again to move the sky down and then you're just going to smooth it out using the layer mask. Yeah, do that though, crop it first. And voila, you are done. Here you go again. Now you've got the beautiful sky, otherwise it would look like this. Quite bland. So the third way using a panorama is, you have to go to File, Automate, Photo Merge. Go to Browse. Actually no, you go to Reposition first. Then you go to Browse. And now you select your photos. Here you go. You wait for it to stitch together. Hmm. Well. Still waiting. Oh, here we go. Now you can see that when you Press the C tool to see the crop. 
it's much wider and you can easily fit it in on Instagram. So what you're going to do when you're shooting is just shoot one photo to the left and one photo to the right. So you've got a wider image to fit the Instagram crop. This will later lead into a future tutorial, which is quite special. So you can see that there are still uh, empty parts, but what you're going to do is control out E to merge the layers and you're going to press M to open up the marquee tool again, or I don't even know how you pronounce it. And you're going to content away fill these areas and you should be fine. I'm just going to do it lazily, like that. Oops. Boom. And now you can easily fit everything into the Instagram photo. So the last way I've actually seen in other people's tutorials, and I'm not really much of a fan of it, but here we go. Crop it again while I make it wider. Copy one below and then control T and just widen the sides like that. And then you're going to use the mask again to feather it out, the feathered brush with low hardness. And I'm just going to go like that. Not too, that's a bit too much. And you're done. There you go. It does look quite close stamped though, like it's been copied again, so this is not my pre preferable one. The best one I would say is shooting panoramas, as you've actually got the real image there. The second best is content aware, which is, it doesn't really work all the time, I'll show you what I mean in this photo. As you can see in this photo, you're either cropping the top part here of the car behind, or this part, the chrome bumper at the bottom, and if you widen it, to content wear it. The content aware doesn't know what the car actually looks like, so it'll make it look fake. That's why you should always shoot one photo to the left and one photo to the right a bit, so that you've got a wider photo when you're, if you're thinking about posting it on Instagram. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, throw a thumbs up. Nah, I'm just kidding. Do whatever you want, it's your life. Even report the video if you want, but you're not really gonna get any more tutorials like that though. But that's that, I'm out. These five ways are widening your photo, content to wear fill, shooting a panorama, moving the... This hair though. One, stretching a photo. Yeah. So, I'm out.